All right, so what's going on YouTube? Coming at you from the RC Dungeon with another video. Uh, gonna be getting ready to put a trail run on the Cherokee, hopefully sometime later today. Finally do it, and I'll probably do a video. Uh, the last of my parts started coming in. I'm gonna share with you guys here. <clears throat> I had to clean up and stuff, and finally get a little bit of time to uh, get this video going. I gotta rearrange some wiring here on the front because I've redone this. Um, and once I get this out of the way, I'll spin this around <clears throat> and show you guys uh, what I've been working on on the Cherokee. Because um, it's pretty much all better part of done. So, um, what I picked up is just another set of the SSD. Make sure it's getting it here. Uh, this is the uh, front pan hard, front link mounts for the Gen 8. There's your part number. Okay. These are almost a must, in my opinion, on the... Um, Gen 8, they're CNC aluminum, they're nice. That was the fronts. This is the rear. They key in, they lock in. Um, you know, it's a real nice addition to the Gen 8, you know. So, comes with all the hardware and all that stuff. There's the rear part number, SSD00321. <clears throat> I haven't ordered my ProTech steering horn low profile steering horn yet it was out of stock when i went to order it uh plus i'm cutting back on some of the stuff i'm spending here uh so i just i had i went ahead and got these i had a, i got these a little cheaper uh, i had a coupon and i had a little bit of money my ebay sale thing so i went ahead and picked these up while i had the coupon uh you know normally i think it'd probably cost you around close to 30 bucks 27 something for these um, I just went ahead and picked them up. They worked out real well on my other Gen 8, so I wanted to go ahead and pop them on this one. <clears throat> so, something else. I was at the, our local Dollar Tree. I'm going to throw these in this, um, the box I used to do my, I've been using to keep the parts for the build for this. Uh, before I get into these, uh, something, I was at my local Dollar Tree, well, where I work, uh, and I ran into some cheap uh they're led kind of a i'm not sure if they're a cree um they're a little new new style of a light uh here's one in the package of the dollar tree for a dollar 25 because you know all their stuff's a dollar 25 now <clears throat> this one's in the package i picked up three of these these things are stupid bright guys i mean crazy bright um i'm working on these have a, um, you know, take three AAA batteries. You have to buy three AAA batteries. The batteries last forever in these. You can literally leave them on forever. Uh, I'm sticking them <clears throat> around different parts of my desk. Uh, and I'll turn the camera and show you. I don't have one mounted right now um, underneath where I want to put one. Uh, but these are really nice. I'll show you. Here's one out of the package. Uh, it's got a like a light switch on and off, uh, and it's pretty cool. I don't have batteries in this one. It comes with double-sided tape with Velcro. Uh, they stick real nice, and then they have a thing you can kind of, you can actually hang them, or you can use them for like a work light. You can set them down as like a work light. They'll kind of angle, um, or you can hang them. You can hang them. You can actually hook this somewhere and hang it somewhere and make like a movable light that's hanging like a work area. Um, for a dollar twenty-five, man, you can't beat it. Uh, I'll show you one that is uh, that I have attached to the top here that I've got batteries in. I'm getting ready to put. I'm gonna put, be getting batteries for these two, and then setting them up here in the workstation. I've got to clean before I do that. Um, the one that I have here, I'll just pull the camera up real quick, and then we'll get down here to the Gen Eight. This is the one that I have here. I mean, it's super bright, guys. You can't tell in the in the picture, I mean, in the video, but it is. It's super bright because I've got other shop lights on here. 
Um, I picked this up, was on sale at Walmart for 10 bucks, and then they had this, um, these LEDs, shop lights was uh, with the piggyback system with the pull cord here. You can turn it on and off. Mine, one of mine blew up, so I had to replace it. And then I picked this up. This is hella bright. This was six dollars or something with the coupon on on Amazon. And I've got it mounted up here, and it has an on and off switch there. So I'll turn that one off, and this will make this one look brighter. There you go. See how it illuminates through here. I got this just to light up the stuff that I have here, because I don't know. I'm yes, I've got a bunch of work done to this. That I haven't gone. I'll go over in a different video because I'm hoping to get my blacked out under the body done this weekend because I've got a bunch more. I haven't done a whole lot of videos with that, but I will, and then I'll cover this stuff later. So, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, for a dollar twenty-five, you can't beat that, guys. I uh, plan on one. I want to put one probably back up in here in this corner, and then you know I don't know because the trucks may not always be here. They're just here for now, so. Let's get back down here to the Gen 8 here. Um, and let me get my light turned back on. Uh, that might have been the best six bucks that I bought uh, for those lights on uh, on Amazon. Man, this thing is super, it's stupid bright, guys. Uh, you know, I'm getting older and it's harder for me to see, so I like to have light. But I like to get one more of these and put over here. Um on this section through here you can see my cheap family dollar led lights here i leave them on all the time to keep the desk illuminated um but what i was saying is those lights that from the dollar the dollar this one here i picked up from a buddy the auction and stuff we uh help him with and everything sometimes and he has uh you know we watch and stuff and anyhow um this one's not as bright as the dollar tree stuff so I'm going to be moving this one out and putting one, putting this one, this one in place of it. You know, it'll be going, it'll be going here um, with some two-sided tape or the Velcro stuff that comes with it. That way I can illuminate my screw box, you know, all my stuff that I have here. And then I'm going to put another one up here in this bend because this, this wax warmer that the wife didn't want, she was going to throw it away because it's got a crack in it uh, that I keep down here to use because, you know, if it falls off and breaks, it's already cracked. Um, but I, I'm gonna put another one up in here because these don't illuminate this enough. Uh, that way, because I keep my electric motors and connectors, and then you know there's some program cards and stuff. Um, yeah. Anyways, back to the Gen 8. Before we get too long with video here, I'm gonna try to get in a little closer. I lost one of my covers. My fault. Taking the body on and off. On my little 4x4 lights. I can't remember if I did this in a video prior or not. I don't even know if I can find the video real quick. I mean the cover real quick here. Yeah, I can. I picked up these lights, the GRC lights. I'm pretty sure I did them in a video. I can't remember. I've been doing so many videos. Anyhow, that's a little snap-on cover. Like the old school 80s, 90s, early 2000s. You know, the yellow, square, uh, fog lights that guys used to run on the 4x4s. You know what I mean? Uh, it snapped on, snaps onto that. Um, I lost one of the covers. Um, you know, these, they, they fit pretty tight. So, I mean, you can actually try to pull it off and you move the light. So, um, it's really weird that I lost it. Uh, and I mean, it takes a good bit to move that light. It doesn't move that super easy. So, um, what I'm probably going to end up doing is taking the mount screw out of here and running some super glue also up in here and tighten it down tighter to pull this light a little tighter too. Um, and hold it because I've got I have now remounted these to where they sit level with my push bar uh, Just going in. I'll just go straight into the To the gen 8 and it's covered in fingerprints and dust and stuff guys and because I've been working on it moving stuff uh, It's got greasy fingerprints all over it uh, You know where I did my diffs and everything so I'm going to be cleaning up the body, polishing it really good, and then taking it out on the trail for a good, you know, nice little trail ride, hopefully. Yeah, you know, the weather's getting better. Um, let me move these out of the way for now. Uh, some stuff that we've added. We, You know we did the boom racings. Boom, race, boom, blah, 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 boom racing dry shafts in that video. Um, we did the... I now have the rubber, more flexible rubber mirrors on here. Uh, from club five you guys see that video 
I am went ahead and put those on, took the other ones off. Uh, because, you know, I'm going to be using this on the trail. Uh, not that the other ones won't work trailing. It's just, you know, if I do get a little rougher with it and it rolls over or whatever. Which I already took it out once and kind of scratched the paint up a little bit and almost cried. Not that the paint's fantastically great anyways. But, you know, it does. It's just, you know, started kind of chipping off or whatever. And I'll just do touch-ups as that happens. Until it gets to the point and then... You know, it is what it is. And then I can always repaint it, you know. I could always just tape up my windshield. All my other windows are all hot melt glued on the rivets part, the plastic rivet parts. This is the only one that has um, epoxy through here, and I could literally not run a nice tape line through here, and you would never notice it on the inside and the outside and then paint it. So I have moved my front bumper back. Uh, it's as back as absolutely I actually had to modify some stuff even more I just didn't like my front bumper hanging out uh, all the ways that it was I mean, I wasn't totally unhappy with it But i um, trying to get it to where yeah, uh, anyways It's absolutely it is not going to go back anymore <clears throat> Believe it or not. There's actually a little clearance between that winch and that grill that you can't tell and I mean You can't get a piece of paper just barely between the two of them so um yeah that's that's where we're at with that gosh darn i'm trying to get my stand to turn back on me here uh get it angled up because we're going to go over some other stuff um but we have the bumper slid back uh even further like i said i like it like this better um it holds everything tighter but I have to move my wiring around uh, that's under because it's it's kind of pushing up on the front of my body a little bit. How I originally did this, I had where the bumper would touch the round stock mounts um, on my bumper mount. That's how I had the body mounted for the lowest possible as I could get it. Um, and it, anyways, it won't because of the wiring coming through here because of my lights and stuff so uh and the winch so i got to figure out what to do with that uh next so that's what i'm going to be working on and then putting the ssd link mounts on it and then you know eventually down the road i will get a hobby wing 1080 uh for it probably esc but i'm not in a hurry it crawls super great with the stock esc and the 14 tooth pinion and the Carl Master motor to 12 turn, um, you know, for trailing, you know what I mean? It's pretty good. Uh, but I do want the 1080 uh, ESC for it later on. I just, uh, <clears throat> before I dump, like, you know, that money and that, I've got other stuff because it's functioning proper, you know, fine with the stock ESC. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm getting, trying to get other parts. Uh, for a couple other rigs and then the uh, whole drift car thing that i'm considering which i don't know if i'll post that video up uh, before this one or not i'm not sure which one will drop first probably that one so i'm looking into drift car stuff too to kind of mess with drift cars so um but anyways back to the cherokee i don't get too sidetracked here um i have added the src i did the video the src um, rear view mirror, uh, let me try to get it a little, let me get the camera down here, maybe you guys can see in here better, I do have the SRC rear view mirror mounted in there, um, I had trouble with this one, I bought two of these, these are the bigger ones, uh, first I kind of thought, in this truck it fits size wise about right, um, I uh, thought, I mean, I had trouble, these are on a ball pivot, uh, the rear view mirror, so you mount this piece and then the mirror snaps into it. Uh, I ended up having to E6000, don't put your E6000 on these windows. Uh, it didn't seem to bother it when I tried to glue it in around here, but when I tried to glue it directly to this rear view mirror here, it kind of started messing up the glass a little bit, so I had to click, fix that. So what I ended up doing anyways was just some cheap, Dollar Tree, uh, I don't have it here. It's what they call a super glue brand pin. <clears throat> and I just, you just kind of push down and it only comes out when you push down. 
uh, put it on the uh, rear view mirror here itself, and then stuck it, and within like 10 seconds, it started bonding to it perfect, so that's what I used, I didn't, these come with the screw, I wasn't drilling no hole in my window, windshield, to screw it to it, but what I ended up having trouble with was, this is an adjustable rear view mirror, like a real mirror, it's on a pivot ball, and uh, if you guys get these, my other one, I, it's fine, this one, I had that issue with, where no matter what, it just fell off, just barely moving the truck. I mean, it'd snap in there tight and move around, and it didn't just it'd just fall off. Uh, so I don't know. I was going to send a manufacturer or the place where I got them from a message or whatever, but I just adjusted it to where it was angled towards the driver, where it would be, and then I just used, I don't have it sitting here either, um, that super glue that I showed you in the other video, the black super glue, um, and I just bonded the mount and the mirror together in where it needed to be adjusted so um you know no big deal just if you get them you might run into that uh, my other one snaps tight and i don't have that problem it's just something where they printed that one i guess and it was just an issue i have no idea uh but i just wanted to go over that with you guys and i really like their uh their rear view mirrors they're actually really nice they're made nice they're printed smooth um i'm you know they're, they're nice quality just because that happened doesn't mean anything and you can see the fingerprints and stuff where I've been dorking around on the window. So let me turn let me turn this one off, guys. That light, maybe you can see. You know, I don't know if it'll well that didn't help, did it? Let me pull you back. I'm trying to my little Yeah, there we go. Um you'll see the fuzzy dice hanging here. Uh those aren't really fuzzy dice. I found these uh for a couple bucks and yes you can get online once i think there's a couple um different websites i found them online for i can't remember right now um they have the dice made up they're like 15 bucks for the dice um i thought these were a pretty nice addition and i basically have very little money in them a couple bucks uh you know i i i, I made them uh, i'm thinking about kind of perfecting my the the rear view mirror dice stuff and actually maybe even selling those online uh because they're pretty cool they're not fuzzy dice they're actually like hard acrylic they're not 3d printed they're pretty nice looking dice um like i said i found them for a couple bucks for a whole for a whole bag and then you know they're pretty easy i i did those were just like my test, but they came out pretty good, and they're yellow, and then this is kind of a black and yellow theme, hence the Batman in the driver's seat, um, but that's why I put them in here, you know, they're, they're pretty cool, I think they look pretty good in there, uh, you know, they would work in like drift cars also, um, so I'm going to perfect the bonding method, well, get it down and make them look a little cleaner and nicer, uh, and then I may start selling these because, I mean, I got them in like, there's, there's black ones. Uh, you can get these. They're, they're on Amazon, but then the craft store here had them, has them really, really super cheaper. You know, and you can get a big, they're not the clear looking ones. These are like a solid, like a real dice hanging from your rear mirror would look. They're not like the clear, clear stuff. Um, there's red, there's black, there's white, there's yellow, there's blue, there's green. Um. You know, uh, these are five, five millimeter, I think. I think it's what size it said these were. And then, you know, you just need something to tie them up with and stuff. But I think I might, you know, $15 kind of seemed like kind of a crazy price for the ones I've been looking at online. Uh, I'm thinking about making these up and selling them a little bit cheaper because, I mean, I don't have a huge amount of money in what I, you know, and I can make a lot of sets. So I thought they looked pretty cool in there, man. Move you a little closer here so you can see them. Uh, I mean, they came out pretty good. You know, you can see my glue there where I bonded them. I got to perfect that to get it a little better before I start selling them. But I don't know. I thought maybe it'd be something cool and scale to sell pretty cheap, uh, for the crawlers and the drift guys and all that stuff. If you got a rear view mirror or if not, you can mount them somewhere else in the body. So anyways, I just thought I'd, uh, do this quick video for you guys. That's what I wanted to share with you. Um, I've got some other stuff I gotta get gotta get going on and then gonna hopefully get a video of the Cherokee for you guys soon once I get time and everything. So 
Anyhow, it's coming together. Just still working on it. Getting little things here and there touched up to get the build done. So anyhow, from the RC Dungeon, peace.